going to do a little song called The Queen of Nine Worthies. Young red and brown, all blowing in the air. And I put my eyes down so that I would not stare. But you noticed me right there. I want to take her hand, but I don't know where I'm one of her. Said she was a queen of nine and seventeen. My words made her believe, but my eyes betrayed me. So she asked me for my name, and I knew she saw my shame. As she leaned in close and spoke of our glory, she said, Once you well, then you lay down And feeling misty sun, sweetest sound And those that you call king They're only smoking shiny ring Just look out your side window and find out Smoking shiny ring. Just look out your side window and find out how. Oh, oh, oh. Don't you know that you love everyone? Don't you know that you love everyone? And don't you know you're right? Filled with sun. Hello, everybody. I'm Matt Howard. You're watching Mount Dungeon, and I am sitting on the floor. I am here with the Greenfields, a large group of very talented young men. Very upstanding they are, I must say. <laughs> so Fine guys. citizens in our community. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So, guys, what is it like to be big in Europe? <laughs> Wouldn't know. Really. Yeah, never been there. Sweden is pretty cool, um, but we're not even big there. Don't you get a bunch no. of I, iTunes hits in Denmark? Denmark. Yeah, we, seem Denmark. To be, yeah. we seem to be pretty popular in, in the Netherlands. They have Legos really? there. Yep, and they have legal Nice coffee fun. houses. Oh. Mm. You know, that's actually, I think you guys should take that as a compliment, because seriously, Denmark has been listed as one of the happiest countries in the world. And one of the tallest countries in the world, too. Really? <laughs> yeah. Like, so, the actual country is taller than the one right next to it? So when you get to the border, awesome. you have to step up? Exactly. So you guys have a bunch of tall, happy people in Denmark who are your fans. <laughs> that is awesome. We love that. They're our favorite people. That is awesome. Well, you know, this gives me the impression, seems to me, that the Greenfields has the momentum of a runaway train going on. What To what would you guys attribute this momentum? Because <laughs> we're so <laughs> rad. <laughs> Very good. I see it so clearly. Redness yes. is a priority. Mm -hmm. 
I just hope that uh, you guys don't end the way most runaway trains end. <laughs> Uh, right. isn't, that, isn't that where we are now? On Mount Dungeon? <laughs> <laughs> this is all just part of the upward spike. Uh oh. This guy still has ways to go. We haven't gelatinous cube yet. Yes. Mm, there's always room for gelatinous cubes. <laughs> State of Florida. Not and my understanding is that a lot of the songs you've already had <coughs> written before you ever moved to Asheville, right? I had an album recorded before I moved up here, um, but a lot of what we played t today was, uh, was written with these guys. Mm -hmm. Well, all right, guys, the rest of you, what is it about Chris's vision that attracted you guys to become members of the Greenfields? He's the greatest songwriter I've ever met. So, no, I mean, not, not, without hyperbole, he is. <laughs> All right, I guess that would do it. Yeah, great, there was, great. A, there's, <laughs> no, go ahead. Uh, so. there's, a, there's a certain uh, style that he brings, and he knows exactly what he's looking for within each tune. Mm -hmm. That is really helpful yeah. as a musician. His arrangements and stuff, like when I, when I listened to the album he recorded and, and produced himself, you know, with the help of some other musicians, it was just—it's one of my favorite albums to listen to. So, I'm very—it's been a privilege to play with them. Wow, kind words indeed. Yes. Kind words indeed. Well, it's kind of, it means a lot coming from these guys because they're the best musicians I've ever played with, <laughs> and uh, I mean they're like miles above what I'm able to do as far as just being a musician. So it's an honor to play with them. Excellent. Again, kind words indeed. Kind words indeed. We're a so, kind band. Yeah, we, <laughs> we like the kind. The kindness. <laughs> I do like the kind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are your guys' plans for the future? Recording. Recording. Yeah, just got to keep going, making, making good music. albums mm -hmm. that we really like to listen to and that we hope other people want to hear too. That's a priority, yes. making albums we like to listen to. You yeah. know, that's, you know, that's what you want to do with it when you get finished with something that you would hope that you could sit down and listen to it. Yeah. You know? I would imagine it'd be very depressing to be a musician and you're making albums you don't want to listen to. <laughs> a lot of people do. You'd be surprised. I'm yeah, sure it pays, surprised. but yeah, sure. still be depressing, you uh, know? Living in your mansion and just, like, drinking hard. <laughs> full of regret. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on your pile of money. <laughs> well, well yeah. gentlemen, yeah. thank you. Thank you thank guys you, were man. awesome. Thanks, Thanks, for, for, Thanks for being on Mount Dungeon. Woo. And Mount Dungeon. here we go. All righty. I'm Matt Howard, you've been watching Mount Dungeon, and there are amazing people out there I want to thank real quick. I want to thank, this is my band.com, you're very good to us. I want to thank Gourmet Perks because you feed us. And I want to thank Bad Ash because it is commercial radio, but you are putting local music on.